Ooh, the Shoni are bringing in even more troops. What's up guys, my name is Hawkwood Online. Welcome to the legendary difficulty Shimazu campaign on Total War Shogun 2 that we're playing through. Glad you guys can make it to episode 10. Uh, this last episode we have started to really put the Shoni on the back foot. We're finally taking control of Kyushu. We're getting in position to um, to take control of our entire island and convert to Christianity, start getting some match locks going, start getting our heavily armored samurai onto the battlefield. Soon we'll have very high quality troops. Uh, we just have to make sure that we finish off the Shoni. We're going to try and wrest control of the seas from anybody as well uh, so that we can defend our little island from any naval landings. Um, we're going to grab these Waka Raider trade ships and send them up to a trade node so we can get a bit more money because our economic situation was dire for so much of the early campaign and we're finally in a position where we can actually start taking control. So it's really good to see that we're finally getting a decent economic situation and we can actually afford to... <laughs> look at that, auto-surrendered. Uh, and we can actually afford to um, build some higher quality armies uh, before we get off of Kyushu. Our next target probably going to be the Chosukabe, not gonna lie. Just too tempting to have those guys. Our Waka Raider ship that only had four men on it automatically surrendered, but fortunately our reinforcements made it in time. Which is pretty fortunate. Would have been very sad if I lost that battle by default just because this automatically surrendered because it had so few men. Alright. Ideal situation. We capture every single one of these trade ships. They're all at full health, but we should hopefully be able to use the fact that our Boca Boyas are mo more mobile as long as we go in the opposite direction of the wind direction because these sailing ships will catch up with us but if we're going that way and drawing these these enemies away we should be okay all right let's slow things down here I'll try to keep this battle quick because naval battles can be a bit dry speed it up where I can Looks like they're going to let me just take the first one. I assume once this one gets a little bit damaged from the archer fire, then they will... There we go. <laughs> they are apparently in range, but they're not quite. So I'm just going to actually click this little arrow here. Get everyone a little bit closer. Ooh, stop. Everyone's firing. Yeah, it looks like we're all in range. This guy could do with moving a little bit closer though. It's funny how they say they're in range, but their most of their archers can't actually hit from where they're sitting. But that's okay. Let's speed things up. Once this ship starts routing and coming my way, then I will get a Boca Boya to peel off and board it and, and make it surrender. Because we do want to capture all these ships if we can. And then we'll just repeat the process for all of them. There's our route. He's going to come straight into my four Boca Boya. It might even surrender if I'm lucky before I have to board them. Although it doesn't look like it. So next target, we'll move on while this guy boards. to grab these pirate ships. There's our surrender. Turn that off boarding. Get him in range to fire on the next one. As I've mentioned before in this campaign, I don't intend to create any bow infantry. I want to have a very heavy infantry line of katana samurai in the medium term once my army is built that I'm sticking with for the rest of the campaign. 
with a missile contingent of Matchlock, Ashigaru, later to be replaced if the campaign lasts long enough with heavy gunners, Shimazu heavy gunners, and then the cavalry contingent. Since we don't have any spearmen on in the infantry part, uh, the cavalry will be strictly strictly Yari, Sam, uh, Yari cavalry so that they can counter enemy cavalry really effectively. It's doing that stupid thing where they're sitting out of range. Let's get him a bit closer so he's firing. Still not close enough? Oh, there we go. The rest of the archers are sitting around doing nothing, letting these two guys do all the work. Oh, there we go. Alright, some of the others are firing. From the back. Got all these other guys in the middle. Not doing anything. Alright, let's speed it up. Alright, this is taking a little longer than I would like. So let's get a bit closer. So that they bring some of their troops to the front so we can fire on them. There we go. Even if we take a few casualties, I'd prefer that over having to wait for this to take... Uh, to, to finish. There's the route and the surrender. Cool. Next ship. Let's do it. Take out these guys up the front. Five men left before they surrendered. I'm surprised by that, but I guess they were close, closer to the general. They took a lot longer to route that ship, which is very strange, but whatever. I'm going to actually move these guys a little bit closer, but not so close that they're in range of that other ship. I just don't... Uh, yeah, this this is good. I want this. I want their troops to come up to the front so that um, the bows will only move to the front when they actually see that something's in range. But I want that so that we can quickly take out the crews. Come on. Where's the route? What's going on? Why aren't we firing? I'm worried we're going to get a waiver soon on our own ships, which would really be a bummer. Okay, routing, nine men left. I think this, yeah, 33 men. So this was the captain, so the others should route a bit faster now. Don't let him get away. There we go. All right. Where are you going, sir? Alright, I think because our Bokoboya was in range of these guys for a second there, they moved all their archers up to the front, which is handy, and now we're back out of range, so they're just standing around doing nothing, getting sniped by this one ship that is actually firing. Get these guys closer so that they actually do some damage themselves. Come on. There we go. These two are still not firing. How ridiculous is that? How close do we have to be? Okay, we got a route. Let's just do that. Looks like the boarding is going to be necessary. Seven left. Okay, there's the final one. And we will be done with this little <laughs> task that is as fun as admin. These two will need to be repaired just so that they're a decent strength, but that's fine. Once we get those Nanban trade ships, we're going to replace most of our navy anyway. So, you know, not too worried. One of our ships is withdrawing. And to be honest, I'm going to have so much money coming my way anyway, anyway that I might actually start paying for... What is going on? Are you seeing this, guys? My Bokoboya don't seem to be firing any volleys. What has happened? Are they glitched or something? I think I might just board straight away because I'm not sure what the hell's going on. But it's not good. Why are they not firing? I'm so confused. 
I wasn't imagining it. I knew something was up, but I figured I was just out of range. Alright, I expect this ship will actually lose this boarding action, but then I'll just send in the next one, and the next one, and hopefully my one Bokoboya that's left will be able to fire, because these guys haven't glitched out yet. Um, yeah, I'm going to lose this boarding action, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh. Yeah, there it is. Although they are now routing themselves, which is perfect. Now continue. Oh, come on, don't let this one get away. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> so clunky, so dumb. Ah, oh, there we go, we got the hook. Alright, let's fast forward through this. End battle, alright, done. Not the most exciting, those naval battles, but we got five trade ships out of it. Plus the Wako trade ships look cool, and I'm Bane, so I like the red flat, the red sail ships. To add to our trade fleet. Something a bit unique. Um, we'll sink this guy because I have no intention of keeping him. We'll get these guys back here to fix themselves up. Um, these guys can go back here as well. Uh, in fact, I could have, I should have sent them there to repair, but that's okay. We'll repair those guys next turn. We built, beat that rebel army here last turn. We've got the Shoni probably about to turn around and start heading in the direction of this settlement so that I can fight and defeat them. Finish off the threat. They do have a second army somewhere. I'm not sure which direction it's heading. It might even come back to Buzin and cause me some problems. So I'm a bit worried about that one, but at this point in Asumi, we have assumed control, so I'll send this army up, grab Huga, and then we'll just start causing problems for Bungo. We'll raid um, the settlement. Not literally destroying any buildings, but we will just kind of roam around. If the armies outside of the settlement will attack it and destroy it, we won't take Bungo just yet, because I don't have enough money just yet to build, to queue up the Nanban trade port. And I want to build that first, so that then when I capture Bungo, I'll have two Nanban trade ports and get around the maximum of one that you're allowed, which is, to be honest, a big part of this whole campaign and why I've been so slow um, about it. I think. So, yeah, that's the plan. We are in a very decent position, though. So, things are looking up for us. Um, we do have to make sure to queue up more ships here, if, in case I forgot. Yeah, I did forget. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the last two, and then I'll have a full stack there. And then, I need to think about taking out the Imagawa from this trade fleet from that trade fleet that's sitting here and taking that for ourselves. That, I believe, is cotton, which is a trade resource, a resource I don't yet have, so it wouldn't hurt to be able to trade it. We do have the chance again to sell our fancy horses to somebody. They won't give me 5,000. What about 4,000? Nope, not interested. Admittedly, we keep losing the horses every time we get them, so I wouldn't be surprised if nobody's really excited to pay for them. Alright, we got 2,000 out of these guys. At least 2,440. The Amako I'm unfriendly with, but they don't have horses themselves. Cast your words upon the breeze. Uh, let's find out. 255. Past my years. They're interested. What about 3,000? Yes, okay. Okay, let's find out what they will do. 4,000, yep, okay, we're, what we're talking now. 5,000, not quite 5,000. 4,500, not quite 4,500. Okay, these guys will give me 4,200 at least. What's the, What about the Iko Iki? You guys willing to pay some decent money? 4,222, not nope, not interested. Imagawa, they definitely have their own horses, so I don't think I will listen to what you say, they would pay anything. Oh, we lost our trade with the Ochi. 
they won't pay much either because they have their own horses still. They'll they'll have access to cavalry. The Tsutsui have somehow picked up uh, two coastal provinces, which is weird because they actually start out here in Omi in the center. They're landlocked. Um, the Yamana, I highly doubt, have anything to offer me. But on the upside, they are about to be wiped out. So trading with them, getting a thousand, one or two thousand out of them would be funny because then they'd be de destroyed the next turn and then I could get another trade deal with somebody else and get more money out of them. Yeah, oh god. Yeah, may as well take their money before they get destroyed. Uh, payments. Not interested in that. What about... Not quite that. They will do that. What about 244? Oops. Yep, okay. Um, I don't think they would do... We, we checked that, right? 250. Alright, still good. 255. Five. Not good anymore. 25. Whoops. 2. Yep, alright, cool. We'll give them trade for their horses that they desperately want. And then next turn they'll be wiped out and I'll have a trade port free to repeat that with. Oh, look at that. We actually have a land border with so these guys, friend. so we may as well trade what with them for whatever they give us. Talk? Because either way, we'll be making money and it won't fill up a trade port, so we don't have to worry about losing out on opportunities to trade with other people. I don't want you guys to have uh, be staring at this diplomacy screen for too long, so I'll get through this quickly. Tsutsui. What did we agree on? The Hatakiyama, I think, were willing to trade me a lot. What are these guys doing? They're declaring war on everybody. Hojo are going insane. <laughs> Alright. These guys were willing Speak to give me 4,500, was it? Honesty and clarity Not quite. 433, nope. It's 422. Oops. Oh, no, not anymore. Oh, wait, was it the Hatakiyama? No, it was the Amako, was, wasn't it? Silly me. Let's get... I will hear your words. Although I do not expect to profit from them. Alright, let's go with that. That's all our trade ports filled up until the Yamana get destroyed the next turn by the Yamako. <laughs> In fact, oh man, I am Switzerlanding the hell out of this. I'm just trading with all sides of every conflict, it looks like. Granted, I'm not particularly neutral. <laughs> and I haven't deterred anybody from attacking me. Militarily. Alright, I have a ton of money, so in fact... Boom! Nanban trade port. And then, hunting lodge, plus 5 accuracy to units made here. Armory. It's all coming out millhouse. Millhouse, I'm telling you guys. Um, I do want to upgrade... Farms, if I, if I haven't upgraded them fully somewhere yet. Oh, magistrate's finished. Yes! The Metsuke. I'm so excited I didn't even let you guys see the cinematic of him painting some calligraphy. Plus two when overseeing towns, always the most useful. Overseeing towns means money, money in when, when you put them in towns, and it also means public order, which is exactly what I need now because everybody's angry with me. And these three towns make tons of money. Sukushi, Hizen, and Higo. So, yeah. Minus 10 chance to being assassinated. Mm, not super useful, but I guess it would be okay to have him on the front lines dealing with ninjas and stuff like that. There are There is a ninja coming around somewhere, and I'm never going to put him in an army, really. So, this is good. 3,600 here in this province. In wealth, 3,400 and 3,000 here. Those have to be my top three. Yeah. My capital's 2,200, very far behind, because it's not an economic province, really. It's more, more about that military manufacture. Higo is fortunate enough to have a lot of wealth um, from farming, because it's got very fertile soil. Um, but And also the horse breed is, is, is a little benefit as well, but um, I am going to turn this into an economic province, a uh, military province as well. I want to start cranking out those cavalry. Here in Buzen... Since I don't need anything to build 
to import my Machlo Kashigaru. I don't know what point there is to building a second building apart from a market here and turning it into another economic center, but I won't keep it as an economic center because if I capture a gold mine in Iwami at some point then that'll be worth more money. And it is kind of tempting to turn this into a an economic province and then grab Suo and turn that into my cavalry province, especially because it'll probably be upgraded by this point um, to level 2, so I'll actually be able to build an encampment there. That's actually something to consider. Maybe I will delete the stables at, at some point here and turn this into an economic province. But for now, I think I'll keep the 1,400 that I have sitting in the bank. And my two stacks of peasants and generals, six generals, um, they're going to face off against the last of the Shoni. This big stack is going to head my way. In fact, I hope, I hope they do, because I want you guys to have an entertaining battle to wrap up the episode on. Uh, and there's not really anything else I want to spend money on right now. So let's call it there and see what the Shoni do to try and hold on to power. The Hojo are coming to mess up my day with a massive navy. Ooh, damn. Okay, I need to build a navy to counter that because I need to maintain my trade. That's a lot of my value right now, what comes into my ports. So, yeah, I do need to deal with the Hojo somehow. I still don't quite understand what the point of them attacking me was. All right, one and a half stacks. We're in business still. This is good. Uh, all right, we only lost a little bit there. Only 100 wealth from that port being blockaded. Ooh, another 500 from the Miyoshi blockading the Chosukabe. The Yamana are gone, so I will be able to sell off a... Uh, to sell off those horses to somebody for trade again. Ooh, I think I'm still trading with the Chosukabe, so... They've lost, horse, they've lost their superior war horses now, so I might be able to resell it, but I'm still currently trading with them, so I can't break trade with them without them getting angry at me for a little while. Okay. Time to deal with Huga, this province that has been so elusive to take and hold. We've got... Only one Shoni, um, Shoni ship over here, so we'll just deal with that. These guys are going to come here. I am worried about that Hojo fleet coming in and messing up my day. Um, so we are going to recruit some Bo Kaboya, but to be able to actually successfully repel. I wonder who's making money here. The trade ships aren't going to be worth anything in a fight anyway. <gasps> oh, it's free! I need to try and snake that if I can. But I also have the Hojo two turns away with their navy. Oof. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to build up a bit more of a naval force because that Hojo fleet is pretty scary. I wonder what these Waka Raiders will do. I am actually going to throw these guys in here. And oh, I might just... Mm, no, nah, I'll, leave, I'll leave it as is. Hopefully we don't get blockaded. Although it's, it's worth so much. Hmm, tough choice, but... I think I want to get here and muscle my way in to grabbing the incense here so I can at least get one turn of big trade. If this gets blockaded, I'm really screwed economically again. I might have that bankrupt dishonor heading, heading my way again. So we would rather avoid it if possible. We're about to get sieged here. This is going to be an epic shoni last stand, potentially. Because uh, if we successfully defend, then... The Shoni are out of the picture for a little while. Alright, we'll do the same upgrade path with this guy. And Yakuza, plus one to overseeing towns. Awesome. We'll throw him in Hizen next turn, and we'll take this guy and put him here to calm down Sakushi, who's gotten angry because of religious unrest. Ooh, so is this, uh, this province here, so I will have to recruit a Boashigaru just to chill these guys out. 
and uh, hopefully, in fact, I might have a problem here because. They might be very angry with me for a little while. <laughs> uh, we can't do that same trick where they suddenly get more movement range when you take the army out. Okay. For now, this province is happy. Next turn, they won't be. Neither will this one, but I'll throw the Metsuke in and they'll calm back down. I'm going to defeat the Shoni. I've got the Nanban trade port under construction. This is solid. Um, the Hojo Navy doesn't have any armies on board, so all they can do is just mess me up economically, but they can't actually take my provinces from me until an army shows up. Uh, so I'm not too worried about building another army to defend against a Hojo stack, but I say that now, I get the feeling that, that a Hojo Navy is just about to come into my line of sight with a big scary army on it. They do have a decent amount of provinces, so they definitely have the capacity to field some, field some some scary forces. Um, so it is kind of tempting to actually uh, build naval units even here. God, I hate building navies. It's so expensive and the battles are so boring compared to big scary siege defenses like this which I'm super excited to fight in the next turn. I'm, just, I'm a bit worried about all the samurai that I'm going to have to deal with, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can outlast them. Um, there's no one else we can trade with that we aren't already trading with, so no money to be gained this turn. But we got our three turns away and we'll be recruiting some beefy boys right here. Finally, the big scary Katana Samurai. I'm going to call it there for this turn and see what happens with the Shoni. Okay, the Hojo are peeling up to the north, which is fine. But they are bringing one of their big navies this direction. Okay, looks like the Chosokabe unblockaded their port, so we have a lot more money coming in again. Ooh, the Shoni are bringing in even more troops. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five archers, six, seven archers, three generals, two cavalry units. I don't have any cavalry of my own that I'm willing to run around the outside. A ton of Yari samurai, which admittedly are trash, but still. This is going to be a showdown that we will leave for the next episode. Because <laughs> I need to think about it. This could be really stressful. Um, the Yari Samurai are going to be a, a weakened by my uh, weaker than my Yari Ashigaru, but they don't have any armor, and so these archers are going to have a very, very fun time shredding. Fortunately, all one-star generals that I should be able to hopefully take fairly easily but i'll see you guys in the next episode where we take on the shoni their big force and if we defeat this it's the end of the shoni we can sweep in and finish them up and finally say that kyushu is totally our island under our control and the campaign's really going to get into a new aggressive phase from there hope you guys are excited give me a like if you liked it dislike if you didn't give me positive comments if you think that i'm doing something well if there's something that you would like to see me work on give me a comment as well if any questions uh just give me some kind of information because i want to make sure that i can interact with you guys build a bit of a vibe and keep this going hope you guys are enjoying the series so far and i will see you in the next one